up everybody it's officially 1 30 a.m and i am right away back to my normal routine it's because i'm not sick those cats fucked me up man i couldn't fucking i had to sleep man i haven't slept this much in a in a while so yeah i do night watch um it's what I do. It's part of who I am. Um, it started a long time ago, but um, more so when I asked Jesus to come in my life. Um, one night, one of the nights I broke down in prison, man. Um, you know, I was going through all that stuff with the COs trying to set me up and those women and, you know, the drugs and everything. You know, I was sending a lot of money and, you know, the, this women, these women, these COs, I wasn't even touching them, physically being with them, you know. They fell in love with me simply because of time, you know. Um, because I was there for so long, you know, they got used to seeing me and got used to the way of how I walked and how I carried myself. And one of them was married and the other one was a hoe. So, uh, it was just a real bad situation. And, you know, of course, you know, me as a Christian man, you know, and seeing, you know, these women go through what they went through because even though one was a hoe and the other one was married, um, you know, they were led to be like that, you know, they were led that way, you know, and they were led astray, you know. First, you know, the one that was married, husband wasn't being a husband, you know, and then the other one, you know, she was young, she was naive, you know, she was curious, you know. Um, you know, everybody explores, you know. I, and there's nothing wrong with being with another color of, of color of skin, you know. Um, you know, I, I proposed to a Mexican woman. You know, she she's caramella, you know what I mean? She's caramel. <laughs> she's caramel, you know, that's what I call her. She's my caramella. And that's another reason why she said she loved me. She she fell in love with me because she I was the first one to call her uh, out of all the men she you know she she's been married once before you know, um, and the guy took complete advantage of the situation and and used her, but she said I was the very first man to tell her that she was uh, precious because I told her she was my preciosa. And I told her she was my caramella, you know, she's my, cause she, you know, she was, she's conscious of her skin color, you know what I mean? And she, you know, she always dreamed of being with, you know, a, a, a cultured, you know, white guy, you know, um, that was her dream, you know, and what's crazy is I've always dreamed of being with the Spanish woman, um, Mexican women are the most exotic to me, um. They're the most passionate fucking fire spirit women. Um, they, and I, I, I had, Margarita was the first one I've ever been with. Um, she will also be the last because of who she is. Um, I know for a fact she's the most fiery Mexican there is out there. I'm telling you, there's no one tougher than her. Um, pure salsa, <laughs> pure, pure fire. I'm talking hot pepper, ghost pepper, hot fire, that kind of fire. I'm talking mezcal, mezcal. <laughs> yeah, she's like that. She's, she, uh, she's worth every, every, every penny, every, every, everything that I'm doing is worth it. So, but I'm up, man. And I do this a lot. And it sucks because I, 
I don't know what to do sometimes, you know, it's so late. He does this to me, dude. And it, there's many reasons why I do it, though, as well. You get, you get more out of prayer. You get more out of meditation at night. Um, and as long as you're, as long as you're getting naps in during the day, and you change your routine, it's so much healthier for you um, to stay up at night for a couple hours, and and do these stretches and routines. But I do more than just that, you know. Um, I keep an eye out because the freaks come out at night. The evil comes out at night. So, um, they do. The evil does come out at night. Um, I know that for a fact because of the shit I used to do. Um, all the fucked up shit I used to do was all done at night. Um, all the freaks come out at night. This is why I stay, stay in guard at night. Um, I've, I've owned multiple businesses and that's another thing. Um, you know, I, listen, I've had multiple businesses. I've owned million dollar businesses. Um, you know, and I've owned businesses that weren't million dollars worth million dollars. And, you know, there's many of them that I tried that weren't successful. Um, I mean, they were successful in their own way, but, you know, I ended up giving it up and moving on to something, you know, different. And, uh, the most dangerous situation that I've been in running a business was I mentioned that, uh, I had a, a cell phone repair store. I know you guys can't see my face, but you know, I got the orange light on. There's a reason why I use this orange light, which I mentioned in another video. When you use a red light, this is the closest one I found to the military light. Um, when you use a red light, when you take your eyes off of it, your eyes don't have to adjust to the darkness. They don't dilate. Um, that's why I use the red light. Also, too, is this light is harder to see um, at a farther distance. You can only see it up close. So that's two. Um, also, when you do use this light, like say I'm inside, it actually blinds me from seeing out there. People can see in, can see me better than I can see them. That's why I use the red light. Um, with this red light, they can't see me as well. And then my eyes, I can see out there perfectly fine without being blinded. And that's military 101, just so you know. Um, your these, the red, blue light is the best light to uh, sneak around in. It's also the best light for, for healing. Um, I have them. Um, usually they're on. I've had many videos where I talk about it. Um, so, but this light, this light, uh, I like to read with it. Um, this is the light that I use to, uh, watch guard, stand guard. Jesus commands it, you know, so. You know, I woke up, that's what I sleep next to, you know. I sleep next to this. It's either, you know, next to me by my head or there, but anywhere I can grab it within. I want to be able to reach it without even getting up. You get what I'm saying? If I, as soon as I open my eyes, I should be able to be able to reach it without having to get up. That's, that's the whole thing. And no, I'm not paranoid. No, I'm not. You know, it's not, it's nothing like that. It's, it's, I know what's out there. Um, I know what people are capable of. Um, I know what I've seen. I've seen people get shot. I've seen people get killed in action. You know, it's not, I've seen people's houses get run into. I've, 
my family, even my family out in the streets, you know, my little brothers have had problems where people, you know, their people have ran up in their crib and robbed them. You know what I mean? Thankfully, I've never been in that situation, but I'm also a different breed than all my family, my brothers, you know, uh, people know I'm crazy, you know, people take a second thought before they try to do some slick shit like that to me. That's why it's never happened to me. And I really want some milk. Yeah. Kind of want some cereal. I got those honey snacks. I'm just not in the mood for them right this second. You know, they do kind of sound good. I want to have a little bowl of them. That's why I like these little bowls. All my, listen, all my fucking, all my glass for the most part is China. It's crazy. I like my stuff, man. I just, I go to garage sales, I go to estates, I go to flea markets, you know what I mean? I, you know, what I pay for this China, this portion, you know, I pay a little bit, a little bit more than you would go to like Walmart for the cheap stuff, but I'm not paying much more. And I'm getting, you know, I'm getting really fucking high quality stuff. You should see this, you should see, I think I showed, the stuff, uh, the bowls and stuff, you and I broke one already. But I already got Margarita's mom a gift for, uh, you know, for when I asked, asked him for Margarita's hand. I got her mom a bunch of uh, ceramic porcelain, uh, you know, China. And it's all from Ireland. It's expensive as fuck, man. I don't even really want to say the price because that's not the point, you know what I'm saying? But the, it's beautiful. I hope she likes it. I got to get her dad a gift, which she likes the, uh, she loves Mini Coopers, but her dad likes the Volkswagen Bugs. I'm thinking about getting her dad a bug. I'm building him one. I can get into one for about 10 grand, eight grand, somewhere around there, a nice one. I'm really thinking about it. I wanna sit in my bed. I turn on the theater for uh, my cat so she gets some heat. I ended up taking that fucking, uh, the Himalayan rock salt thing that I have since the fucking light broke. I haven't had any, uh, salt to put in the bathtub. Epsom salt, so I put that in there, that Himalayan red salt. I'm thankful I did. Half of it melted within like about 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, a little bit longer than that, I think. I think it took like 20 minutes. I feel like more than half of it actually melted. And, uh, the water got salty, like really fucking salty. Like I could almost taste it, like when it would drip down my face and shit. I could taste it. And uh, it burned, you know? Not only it burned my face, it burned my whole body. And uh, that Epsom salt don't do that. It didn't, you know, that Epsom salt, sometimes it stings, but not like, not like that Himalayan rock salt did. And uh, I'm glad I put it in there, man. My All my skin feels good. And it's weird because I was rubbing it between my hands and it felt really cold at first, like it was cold. 
and then it got really, really warm, and, uh, I don't know, it just, like, recharged me, I don't know, and I grabbed the cat, um, she hated me, she hated me, she was miserable, bro, she was shaking, she never did that before, um, when I put her in the bathtub like that, she was shaking so much, she shit herself, ma'am. Like, I was like, that's weird. Because I've always given her baths. She's had baths many, many times. But, uh, like, she was shaking. She shit herself. And, uh, you can tell I think she was constipated because she was bloated. I was wondering why she would look so fat. And, uh, I was wondering why she looked so fat, you know? But I'm glad I put her in the salt water because that salt water, that magnesium, it's it's salt, you know? It's mag That Epsom salt is mostly magnesium, even though I put the Himalayan rock salt. It kind of has the same effects. Um, I had her in there, and uh, the reason why I put her in there is because her fur was still, like, nasty from when I got her. Um, and... Like, all around her neck, it was disgusting. Like, it was brown. I couldn't get any of the, uh, stuff off of her. And then her eyes, her nose, like, all that gook and everything. I, every time I tried to give her a bath, you know, a shower, it didn't come off. And I don't want to use soap, you know what I mean, because she's so young. And I don't really have money, you know what I mean, um, purposefully for this channel, um, we might as well say I'm broke, right, um, so it's, I wanted, like, to get her clean, you know, so I brought her in there, and, uh, I let her swim, and I know she was shaking, though, because, I think the reason why she was shaking is because she went towards the deep end, she was swimming, and she, like, I don't know if she, like, got weak or something or whatever, but she started sinking. And she went under completely. And uh, I snatched her up. And uh, I'm pretty sure water went down, you know, her nose. Um, but I'm thankful it did because all that stuff, like, you could see, like, her nose, it was draining and stuff and just gook was coming out of it, you know, you could tell it was just nasty stuff, you know, it was like bloody and it was, I felt terrible, I did, but now she's soft as, uh, she's happy right now, she, she's the cleanest she's ever been, she's super puffy, all around her neck's actually like, for the most part, clean now, you know, and her nose is not her nose is healed finally um the salt you know what i mean it dried it out and got all that gook you know all that nasty infection out of it on the night of her eyes um so like even though she was miserable and she shit herself and i'm kind of glad i should she shit herself because it i was rubbing her stomach for like 45 minutes um, with the blow dryer, for some reason, like, <clears throat> every time I, it was frustrating, because the first time I gave her a bath with the saw, I got her out, I was blow drying her, that's when she shit herself, she was just traumatized, and then the blow dryer didn't help, so I was super frustrated, you know what I mean, and she sensed that, so she's freaking out, I couldn't get her to calm down, and then she shits herself, so I already had her dry when she shit herself. I felt bad because you could tell like she was, it was hard as a rock and then the rest of it was all, you know, runny. So she was constipated too, so, and I woke her up, you know what I'm saying? I woke her up at at 10 o'clock, you know, 11 o'clock to do this, you know what I mean, and lay in the shower, um, last, right when I uploaded the last video is, I laid in the shower for about an hour, and then, uh, 
I was still sore. Um, I wanted to get my stretches in, so that's when I fucking decided to throw that stupid ass rock in there. Which I can go grab it actually, it's all weird shaped. It melted fast as fuck. But the reason why I'm kind of mentioning it, mentioning it though, is uh, like I said, it got really cold in my hand, and then it got really, really hot. Right now it's cold, and I know I was in the shower, you know, and I was, you know, in hot water. But when I listen, man, when I held it in my hand, it got really, really warm. Now here's what people don't realize was what people don't realize is your organs are connected to your hands the reason why people get sick and stuff and don't detox um, is because they're not connecting their fingers when they're praying and they're doing yoga um, when they're meditating they're supposed to put their hands like this and when you do this you're completing the circuit you're completing a spiritual circuit which your, your organs your heart your your chakras all of them run through here. You can feel it when you push them together. You can feel. You can feel your nerves. It runs right up. That's how you get your toxins out. That's why you gotta pray. And when you do so, you gotta breathe. You gotta breathe with your stomach, your solar plexus. Because when you do, when you're doing this, right, the channels are open. If your hands aren't open, if your hands aren't like this, where your where your wrists are bent, the channels aren't open to get into your chakra. Well, your arms, right? Your when it flows, it goes through your arms, it goes in your heart, pumps through your arms, and then down to your legs. So, it, you know, you gotta you gotta open up your channels. That's why I roll backwards. Um, this is also why I use salt, um, I use Epsom salt, but the Epsom salt isn't real salt, first of all, the Epsom salt is, is, is engineered in a factory in China, um, and it's fake, and it has all those chemicals in it, and it's really actually bad for you, um, a lot of the Epsom salt is, um, not all of it, some of the companies like Dr. Teal's and stuff, you can see it's real magnesium sulfate, um, if you look at like the cheaper stuff and you look at the crystals, you can clearly see that it is it is a uh, 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 fucking clear rock salt made in a, in a lab in a factory. It's synthetic. Um, it's not good for you. I, w I wouldn't trust it because it's being made in a lab cheaply. Um, and all those labs are also making all those different products, all those different chemicals. And they're not, they're not being regulated by the government or by a, a, a organization that knows what they're doing. So you're, you're, you're taking a risk of, of um, laying in the bathtub with a bunch of byproducts that might not be safe for you. It might be harmful to your body. And if you're laying in it, your pores are going to soak it up. You're going to die. You could possibly die. I wouldn't do it. That's why I seen this and I was thinking, you know, this will eliminate that problem because I have bought an Eps I have bought Epsom salt um, there's specifically two brands I cannot use um, it's the cheaper brand it's at the dollar store um, it says it's designed it was designed in America made in USA um, but it's manufactured in China by some company in California and it's pure synthetic, you can tell, it looks just like meth. I swear to God, it looks like meth. And when you put it in, when you put it in the fucking uh, bathtub, and you get in it, it instantly burns. Um, I got sick, I got, literally the next day, I got violently, like, ill. I was throwing up. Uh, my body's really sensitive to the environment and what I put in it and, and what's around me. Um, including not only people and the bullshit but this as well um this is why when i 
I started using it. Um, I mentioned it in another video. I've been using it to clear up my face, and it has cleared up my skin. It's just pure rock salt. Um, they sell the lamps. It's Himalayan rock salt. Um, and what's crazy is when I dissolved it in the shower, it's red um, in the middle of it, and there's a bunch of these silver pieces. It looks like real silver and you can't really tell it's even in there because it's in the center of the rock you know what I'm saying but there's little chunks of silver in this it's insane and this finally got a hole but yeah this is what it looks like now it it dissolved quick it got all sharp and shit but um I also kept it so when I laid in the tub right it was a really weird feeling when I laid down in the tub right and I crossed my legs I put this between my legs and I let it sit for about a half an hour um, and it didn't touch anything and what's crazy is I felt I, I felt heat coming um, all around into my legs um, and it sucked the pain um, it took all the, the soreness, it sucked the soreness right out of my body. Um, I feel new, I feel rejuvenated, and so does my cat. Like, I can tell, like, I look at my cat, I see my cat, even though my cat was miserable and shit itself, my cat woke up, um, and was, was purring, playing on me, uh, more energetic than usual. Um, she's playing right now, look, she's exploring. I don't know if you can see her, but she's exploring right now. She, it's, you know, it's two in the morning. Look at her. She hasn't been like that. And it cleaned out her skin, everything. That's why I take, listen, man, I, I spend so much time in the shower and in these, doing these yogas and these uh, steam rooms and stuff. Um, when I travel the world, um, I actually take, a, I put a lot of conscious effort into putting money to the side so that um, I can go to steam rooms with Margarita. Um, I have, I'll be showing you guys my memberships and stuff to all the different places that I go to. Um, there's one in Farmington that's not far away and there's one in Southfield I like to go to. Um, it's like a little bear, it's called a bear or something, I forget. I've only been there a few times because um, I just, I'm leaving, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just realized, like, I just found this place over here that's close to my house. And, uh, but I'm moving, you know, I'm, I'm moving south to start this charter. So I'm probably going to end up buying more of these. Um, because I know it's pure rock salt. It's pure salt. Um, and that's what I want. I ain't got to worry about what I just mentioned, um, you know? You know, and it's crazy too, because not only do you got to worry about the drugs, all these China labs, you know, making all these drugs and stuff, all these, you know, uh, synthetic analogs of, of, of the real deal, you even have to worry about it when you get bath salt, which is insane to me. That blows my mind that you got to, you, you have to, you have to test fucking bath salt these days, Epsom salt, because if you don't, you could, you could kill yourself. I'm serious. I'm not lying. Be very careful about what you do today, man. Listen, Pian, people are lazy. People make mistakes and don't want to take credit for it. It couldn't even be, it might, it, those, those bags of Epsom salt that I had that experience, it could have been an absolute mistake. And, you know what I mean, it could have been a machine that did it, or, you know what I mean, or something, you know, something that just didn't get mixed right. You never know. How would you ever know, unless you investigate? And if you're dead, how are you going to investigate? It has a carbon kind of... More when it's wet. But even like right now, like now that I've been touching it, I got a weird feeling in my, like, I can feel it. It goes through my, like, it, 
It's a weird feeling, man. It almost goes through your hands. It like rejuvenates you. And it goes through your whole body, just holding the rock. I'm serious. I, like, that's why I set it next to my toilet, because I had it in the other room, and I always kept my, like, I always found myself wanting to touch it, and the more I touched it, the more I felt like, uh, I don't know, I just felt better, um, physically, um, and I spent a lot of time holding it, um, it purifies you, it does, I'm serious, physically, it's a positive ion, you know what I mean? It, it puts positive charged particles in your aura. Um, it cleans, you know, it discharges you. You know, it grounds, you know, it, it gets all that negative energy out, out of your palms, out of your hands, through your body. Um, it recharges your soul. It's the truth. That's why you take Epsom salt baths. Um, that's why I'm gonna start buying these rock salts, and they're not expensive actually. You can get them at the dollar store at, for five dollars, which is the same as a box of Epsom salt, a bag of Epsom salt. Which, the bag of Epsom salt, right? I end up using half a bag, a whole bag of one, which is the same price as this, and I used about half of that, I still have about half left. So it's almost about the same. Actually, it's better because a lot of times I use a whole bag when I don't need a whole bag because I pour too much just being stupid. And that's the truth. You don't need that much. You just need enough to, you know, clean your body and, you know, recharge yourself. Strip away all the toxins and stuff. Strip away all that oil, you know what I mean? It gets in your pores. The salt gets in your pores. It cleans you out, it heals your skin, um, makes you itch, but that's why you put moisturizer back on, um, to put moisturizer back in your skin. Um, you know, it's also it, bacteria. Um, today with all the bacteria and, you know, all these fucking things that countries are releasing, um, people, People also don't know how to take care of themselves. There's another reason why I put that chapstick on my face before I head out. Um, when you put petrolatum on your face, right, and you go out out in the in the world, the real world, right, you're 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 putting a barrier, and you want to put it on your hands, your feet, and your face, because your hands, your feet, and your face are the most uh, porous. Um, on your whole body and you perspire from your hands you know your you know your hands your feet your head and your armpits you, you might even want to do it with your armpits but your armpits are usually covered um your hands your feet are usually covered too but it's you know if you're going water and stuff stepping in you know you have boots on you're stepping in water nasty water um it's always good to keep vaseline or chapstick um any type of any type of petrolatum, and you put it on your face, your hands and your feet before you leave for the day, and it creates a, a protective barrier on your face, not only from UV radiation, but from biological warfare, um, disease, uh, all those different germs. Um, when I worked, I learned this working in the, uh, in the, in the cell phone industry, um, repairing cell phones um, for a living. Um, as a company, I was making, you know, I'm repairing on a good day, 30, 40 phones, you know, I'm doing 10 screens, you know, uh, you know, a couple charge ports, you know, whatever it is, you know, say I do 30 phones, for example, right? 15 of them are women's phones. Listen, man, women are dirty and it's not that they're dirty. It's their purse. they put their phone in the purse. They have kids. They got all this different food and fucking pacifiers and rotten fucking formula and <clears throat> all this other shit that's in their purse and like you're fixing it, right? Listen, man, a phone, they've done studies. A woman's phone is more dirty than, than, than the toilet. Bacteria-wise, it's the truth. I've read it in Popular Science Magazine. 
it, it's disgusting. And I've caught, listen, I would go through, you know, the, uh, you know, hand sanitizer, the big ones, the, the, the gallon things. I would go through a gallon of it in a month. Sometimes less. I was using it constantly, and I would still catch pink eye once a month, easily, because of I was repairing 70% of the phones. Um, I was well, I was doing 70% of all the repairs, and we had six technicians. Um, but I was also the lead tech, and I was also part owner, business owner. So. Which they didn't know. You don't ever tell your... Listen, man. You don't need to tell people your business. People don't need to know how much money you make. Don't ever tell your co-workers how much money you make. That's stupid. Never, ever do that. But, yeah. Himalayan red salt. Lifesaver. It's, it's changed my life. Uh, just like lemon has. So, you know, all these things I'll be mentioning, you know, and all these things I got to figure out how to keep on the boat um, and bring with me, um, you know, because I'm going to be using it for purposes, you know, and now that, you know, I've, I've come across this, you know, and experienced this change, you know what I mean, in my life because of it, uh, um, I've been studying it and I know why it does it. Um, that's why I want to share it with you guys. I've been sharing it. Um, I'm going to be sharing also, uh, you know, making videos on why it does what it does. And also um, other uses for it. Um, rock salt. That is spiritual. Um, you know, there's many. The Bible talks about salt a lot. They used to put it. Um, you know, on the tabard, um, on the, uh, you know, before they did the sacrifices, you know. Salt was a really hot commodity. This was worth a lot of money back then. This was worth more than, listen, man, this is worth more. Back then, I'd rather have this than gold. Why? First of all, it has healing properties. Um, you need to have it in your diet. You can preserve meat with it. Um, you know, if you have fish or meat, you know what I mean? You can dry smoke it or you can put salt on it, make beef jerky. It will, you know, you can preserve it. You know what I'm saying? If you, there's so many uses for it, um, you know, you gotta remember, cultures have, have, you know, not all places around the world have salt like this. Um, you know, certain countries don't have salt at all. You know, so that's why they traded for it. That's why they have the silk road. And God created the earth like that on purpose, you know? You know, there's more, there's big there's salt deposits around the earth in certain places on purpose, which... I've been studying these things, you know, I've been studying the earth and um, all the major uh, mineral deposits and where they are around the world, and uh, there's a connection, I've made a connection, um, it blows my mind, and I, I want to share it with people, but I don't at the same time, because um, there's some things that kind of... I don't know, I don't know what to say yet. I don't know what to say yet. I've been asking God how to go about this and what to say. He's, uh, he's blown my mind, man. Like, the stuff I've been discovering uh, recently, you know? And it's crazy because I've, I've, I haven't just discovered one thing lately. I've been discovering a lot of new things that I'm surprised people haven't come up with or invented yet or um, haven't um, done yet. And it blows my mind, like, why me? Like, well, that's why I'm thankful for him, you know what I mean? Because I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for Jesus. So, 
I, lo I don't even want to use this one because it's so cool how it like mounted and stuff and it has the hole and stuff. I want to put it on the shelf and just leave it. But it, even out in the open on the shelf, the moisture in the area, it's going to cross the way. It's going to melt eventually. Um, it'll last a long time. It could last 100 years, you know what I'm saying? Sitting on the shelf if it's not too humid. If I was in the desert outside, you know, where it's not dry, drier, it'd sit forever, you know, a thousand years, a million years, you know. But it gets, like in the bathroom, where I had it on the toilet, it was melting pretty fast. Every week I had it, it was crusty on the bottom, I'd clean it, and then it'd be crusty again within a couple days. It's all from the moisture from the shower. It's really smooth too now that I had it in the bathtub because I was like picking it up and stuff so the water was just running you know down it without me touching it to either so it's all it's smooth it's shiny that's where they drilled the hole you can see where they had the two screws because they had the wooden platform you know where the light went in the light broke that's why I did it and you know, I've always been touching it, I've been studying the earth, you know what I mean? And I bought it because it was the rock salt. Um, it said Himalayan rock salt. Um, the Himalayas always uh, fascinated me. There's something about them that fascinate me. There's something spiritual about them to me. Um, you know, the Tibetans and, you know, all the people, the, all the uh, Hindu people and stuff that, that you know, do yoga and all that stuff and pray and meditate, you know. And they, you know, they all know the ancient word, you know, the um, which, you know, Jesus, you know, knew as well. Um, you know, he sacrificed himself for the um. <laughs> so, which God, you know, created the world, you know, saying um, which is the sacred symbol in the Kabbalah. It's the sacred symbol that's in all ancient texts in Sanskrit, Kabbalah, you know, uh, the, the, the Quran, all of them, all of them, they, be, they all, everyone knows, you can see the, the, you can look it up the ancient symbol, it's not hard to find it out, we have the internet, you know, but I'm gonna upload this, man, you know, it's already 42 minutes, my joystick's actually dying, I'm actually happy it's dying, um, that's good. I got a full day out of it. Um, I haven't actually fully killed it yet. Today is the first day since I've had it where it's on the last bar. So I'm, I'm, I wanna see, uh, you never really want your batteries to die completely. You stress them out. It's okay to do that every once in a while just to basically, uh, cause a lot of software when they completely die the, the Android or iPhone, there's a piece of software that will calibrate the battery so that you can get the maximum life out of it. But if you let it completely die all the time, you stress out the battery and then you fuck up that, you can fuck up the controller. So then at that point, that software that, that calibrates it doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, you can root Androids and you can. You can download this little app and uh, it will recalibrate your battery um, if you've ever had problems. Um, I've had problems. So I've had, I've had phones like uh, Notes over the years and Samsung Galaxy S's and stuff that you know where the battery's built in, where you know you can't just go swap out a new battery right away that easily. So you know my phone is rooted and that 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 app actually came in handy. Uh, came. It, it was helpful, but yeah, this is just a cheap ass phone. And the joystick, the Nimba, I'm happy with the fan top Nimba. It's a great product, A1 for sure. So uh, I'm gonna charge it up, which I still gotta recalibrate the Nimba too. Um, I've calibrated it twice. The second time, the first time I didn't, I calibrated it, it didn't calibrate well, but. 
I also didn't have it on the fucking surface, the flat surface, uh, correctly like I should have. That's why I calibrated it the second time without fucking touching it, letting it be still like you're supposed to, and, uh, it's been great ever since, so, um, it's starting to, with the counterweight I mentioned in another video, uh, the little rubber piece, you know, is just, I'm using it, you know what I mean, it's not worn out or anything like that, but you can see how the phone is just dropping just a slightly to the left, um, a lot of times it's the phone and the rubber, it's not the counterweight, it's not the nimble, it's the way I have the phone in there. So, and I gotta really find that other phone that I get, I gotta make sure that it, it sits nice in this nimble, and I gotta get another one so I have a backup, and so that Margarita has one as well, so, you know, she can record, you know, we both have phones, because it's gonna take a lot, you know, and it's also, Sometimes it's hard for me to record by myself, you know, what I'm doing, so you guys aren't exactly getting the best shots, angles of what it is I'm, you know, talking about or trying to show. Like the video today, I explained how I was going to get the motor out, and you guys totally missed, well, I totally uh, did not show any hand motions, which would have helped describe what it is that I was showing and doing, going to be doing, so, yeah, um, I'm going to upload this, I'm up, um, you know, we're going to read the Bible, I had to get my rest and, um, you know, get back to routine, I want to do Bible study, um, I want to finish John, that way I can get to other stuff that, uh, I've been wanting to read, some stuff has been, uh, some stuff hit me this week, you know, that happens a lot um, when you're studying stuff. You learn, you learn, like, you're like, oh, that's why they did that. Oh, that's why they did that. Oh, okay. You know, um, it's like a, a mystery hunt to me. I love it. I, I, I can never get enough of it. I can never get enough of Jesus or God or the Bible. Um, and I'm looking for anything Bible related. That's why I can't wait to get I can't wait to get on the road. I'm looking for old books. The older the more ancient it is, the older the books are, the better, you know. Um, the more expensive doesn't always mean anything, but you know I gotta come up with some money because I know some of these things that I'm looking for are gonna cost cost a lot. So um, and the money that I have that money that I do have put up is for the boat. So <clears throat> Which is, I don't even know if it's going to be enough. So. On that note, I'll let you guys go. I'll see you guys soon. I got to charge up the joystick and my phone and all that. So, yeah, I'm going to go charge up myself too. I'm going to go eat. Um, eat another, probably another bowl of cereal. Probably going to make some coffee. I know I'm up. I'm gonna do yoga, and then uh, I'll be waiting for the phone to charge on that joystick, and then uh, once it's charged, this video is uploaded. I'm recharged, uploaded. I'll, I'll be with you guys, so take care.